P0301. This means your car is misfiring in the first cylinder of your engine. But don't fret, we are here to explain some of the issues and causes of that P0301 code. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. As we said before, P0301 means that there is a specific misfire in your first cylinder. And that's the difference between say the P0300 code, in which case random multiple cylinders are misfiring. Since it's happening in that first cylinder, that means it could be happening in a four, six, eight, or even 12 cylinder engine. Now, let's explain what a misfire is. At its core, a misfire is the desynchronization of the combustion cycle within your engine. And unless your car is made before 1980 or you're riding a dirt bike, your car has a four stroke combustion cycle. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So your cylinder intakes the fuel oxygen mix. The piston compresses that mix. The spark plug ignites the mix to give power. And finally, your cylinder is open to release the exhaust. And combustion requires three elements, oxygen, fuel, and spark. The intake stroke introduces oxygen and fuel, and the power stroke provides the spark. If any of these three components are messed up, the process gets out of sync, and you get this error code. Now, there are a lot of reasons for a misfire, but we are going to start with a few of the simplest. First, it could be that air-fuel mixture component. Your engine needs a very specific mixture of fuel and oxygen. So if there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the car, it could not be getting enough oxygen for that mixture. In this case, it can be a crack or a leak in the hose or really any other air component issue. And the good news, this is usually another less complex issue that doesn't hurt your wallet too much. Second, it could be on the fuel side of the mix. This usually has to do with a fuel injector or a fuel filter. Between the two, we suggest changing those fuel filters first because this is usually a cheaper fix, around $20 to $60 without the labor. Whereas the injector is electric and is a little bit more complicated piece of machinery, and it can be anywhere from $600 to $1,100 for the parts alone. Finally, and most simply, it could be the ignition coil or your spark plug. And what's cool is that there's a super easy way to check this. In your engine, you can easily switch your ignition coil from one cylinder to another. If you don't know how to do that, this video right here will help you out. After you switch those coils, Go ahead and grab your fixed sensor if you have one. No worries if you don't, any OBD2 scanner will work. So in this situation, say you're switching it from the first cylinder to the second cylinder. Then in your error codes, it should go from P0301 to P0302. If it switches, you know it's the ignition coil. If the code stays the same and it's still reading P0301, it might be time to check those spark plugs. In this case, you want it to be those spark plugs. If it is the spark plugs, it's usually gonna be a cheaper fix, anywhere from around $10 to 100, depending on your vehicle for parts alone. Coils are roughly 240 to 360 for the parts alone. The labor would set you back about 60 to $77. If you take out that spark plug, make sure to check out all the other spark plugs as well. If it's just that one spark plug that's worn out, then you're probably good and happy driving. If it's not, and there's multiple spark plugs worn out, I would go ahead and take this to your mechanic or a trusted friend, as there could be a more serious problem. For specifics on how to change those spark plugs and how to diagnose some of those other problems, make sure to check the links in the videos below. For P0301, there are plenty of other possible problems. This could be spark plug wires, bad fuel, any other air intake components, or even mechanical problems within the combustion cycle. The three problems mentioned before, in our opinion, are the easiest to fix and the most common. So check those out first, either yourself, with a friend, or a trusted mechanic. Don't have a trusted mechanic? You can check out our free app and look up local trusted shops. Don't have any friends? You can check out this helpful video here. Changed my life. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. Cheers! And happy driving, everyone.